I'm sorry about my voice. I've Don't got worry, a cold. It sounds fine. It and sounds it, very you. Very, yeah, but it's even more me than usual. <laughs> I'm known by many different names. My good friend Will calls me Puck and Robin Goodfell. I follow the Gypsy Fairy Queen. I've been making beautiful records for a long time, I but this is the first the time fairy. that I've got reviews like this. <laughs> I really feel that my country, my people, have finally understood who I am and what I'm trying to do. That has been my dream all my life. London, it's years since such crowds gathered to await an appeal verdict. But this was a Rolling Stones case with the fans out in force. For better or worse, the names of Mick Jagger and Marianne Faithful will always be linked. Lovers back in the 60s. Here they are after Jagger was conditionally discharged on drugs charges. You said something very interesting recently. I was too pretty to be left alone. Yeah. What did you mean by that? Well, I think that happens to all pretty girls, you know. Whereas they... they especially in that period of time, you know, where to be pretty was to be... The people just thought you were stupid. We've had a year of this Me Too movement, oh, yeah, yeah. which I'm sure you've been reading about and following. No, not really. No. But I know a little bit about it, yeah. What do you make of that? I think it's really sad, you know. I mean, if that happened to me, I would just laugh at the guy. Physical assault is too much. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> but on the whole, a clever, interesting girl can bat them away. I sit and watch the tears go by. My riches can buy everything. Jagger and Keith Richards wrote As Tears Go By for Faithful, a pop star in her own right even then. In terms of the swinging 60s and its successes, she's adamant that anything she was involved with was with her consent. Would you want the same kind of life for a daughter or a granddaughter? No, no. I have the most beautiful granddaughter and I hope I hope she gets to lead the life I would have liked to lead. So it's about female empowerment in the sense of being heard, being, uh, being able to do what you want on your Choosing terms. Choosing your path and following it without interference, yes. Faithful's new album was recorded at a house on the River Seine, with collaborators including Nick Cave. And as for the substances which sustained the musicians, nothing more exotic than home cooking. Do you miss English grub at all? Oh, yeah. What do you miss? Almost everything I, I eat here is English. Such as? Shepherd's pie. Um, I wish I could make steak and kidney pie. I really do. Do you miss Britain, generally? Well, y yes and no, you know. I do, and then when I look at Brexit, I think, oh, God, no wonder I can't live there, you know, with people like that. It's funny because a lot of people of, dare I say it, a, a mature generation, mm. um, seem to be all for it, can't wait to be free of the shackles of the EU as well, they that's, see it. That's a, well, I'm a European, you know. I feel like a European, I am a European. And I don't have a conflict with being English and being a European. And I think it's a great shame that, um, that, that uh, they're trying to get m my country, which I love, 
out of Europe. I think it would be great if they could change that ancient prejudice, you know, the, 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 the wanting to be alone and apart from the rest of, of Europe and the rest of the world, almost. Faithful has written a creed de coeur in response to terrorist attacks on her adopted city. We come at night, mama, just like before. Turn the streets to blood red rivers, turn your eyes no more. They come at night about the Bataclan ISIS killings. I wrote that that very night, right away. I was so outraged, you know. And you performed a song at the Bataclan, I think. Oh, yeah. I was honoured to do so. Mm. They just finished wiping the blood off the walls, actually. Faithful's album began with songs written about death of old friends as well as unknown neighbours. But in the end, it wasn't at all a bitter experience. Blimey, you know, they started dropping like flies and a lot of my dearest friends died. And so I wrote about that. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I ended up, where I ended up, was not just loss, lo loss, loneliness, all that. I ended up with love, actually. Mm -hmm.